So let's continue um, from the previous part of the video that cut off, but we'll continue. Okay, so I'm going to start by sharpening my liner. And you're wondering, why do we even care? First of all, I was asking myself today, why am I speaking to the camera as if there's this large or even one person watching or listening? You see, I've been guided to do this. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to continue sharing and uploading until that changes, right? So, so that's why I'm speaking to you as if you're out there listening and um, here I am. Um... So we're going to talk. So let me, this is lip liner. I like doing the lips like I mentioned last time because then it pulls the look together. So let's do this. And I like lining it. Because it just, it just do. I think it looks good too, but I just enjoy doing it this one you don't see so much but once i apply the lipstick you will see why. I actually wanted to start it. I actually wanted to start with powder. Powder, powder, powder. Because if I'm going to do a video where I'm doing makeup and talking, I might as well do the full thing. Uh, I might get other foundation just since I am doing this fun videos just to see you know if I'm liking them more because I like how light this is but sometimes I do want like the liquid foundation because I like how it gives me that extra finishing and to me it's a bit of a, a little bit of a drama because it's like paint on the canvas and since I don't really use paint on this canvas that often then sometimes I like to go a bit dramatic dramatic I had two topics that I wanted to talk to you guys about today one has completely slipped my mind. I've been thinking about it over the period of the last two weeks. So I have allowed it to marinate and, you know, and you would think, why aren't you prepared? Why don't you have it on paper, written down with your notes, so that you can come and talk to us about it? Well, sometimes I do. And sometimes I just like to let it flow in naturally because then I know I'm speaking from a higher space of consciousness and I'm allowing my higher self to speak through me and allowing myself to be also divinely inspired. It's not underprepared as I have with you the confirmation and awareness that I'm going to talk about it. And it could be that today it is not about, I'm not supposed to discuss that topic today. So the one that I'm not remembering, we're going to leave alone for today. And I'm going to speak about the other one. So I'm going to line this a bit more. Cause one. little bit of definition so I want to mix two color 
This is a matte finishing and it's called cinnamon roll, this color. Okay. And then you'll see what it looks like. Once I'm done my lips, I'll be able to talk more. So, I can leave it like this, but I'm going to add a purple to it. This one is Wild Orchid. Ooh, I like that. Purple. So, I am layering. To get the color that I want. So it's like a touch of extra color. So I have noticed over the course, do I do my hair? Do I start flattering it? No, I'm going to let it dry. The middle is still a bit dry. I have not greased it. I will do that after I flat iron it. I have, I did put leave-in conditioner right after when I came out of the shower and some parts on the inside are still wet. So, here we go. I'm going to line the inside of my eyes, kind of like to open them a bit. And then, oh, here we go. So, what do I want to talk to you lovely people about today? Or as, as I should say, I'm really just talking to myself. And if I say anything that's of interest to you and that's helpful or useful, I hope you use it in your world. I realized recently or recent, recently, I have realized that. Have you like, you know, when you are explaining yourself like you have a point that you want to get across or you're if you ever find yourself in a space where you are trying to explain something because you you want to be understood in what you're saying and you're just explaining you you like you came from you know say you came straight forward and you said it and then it's like still not understood you feel like you're not being understood and then you're like, all right, let me try saying it on the on the right side. And then it's still not received as you're trying to explain it. And then you're like, let me try to say it from the left side. And it's like the more and more and more that you're trying to present your point of view or you're trying to explain how you're feeling or your state of being or just provide clarity to others in terms of where you are, but also explain a perception or an opinion sometimes there's this sense of like block and so and then you get even more ambitious you're like all right i need to get a loud um speaker and i need to say it loudly i need a microphone i need to hey because you're thinking they're not hearing so hearing is like you know if someone is unable to hear that means the instrument doesn't receive information right it's like it doesn't receive it and then translate it into what the information is being um, presented. So there's different type of blocks. Sometimes based on where people are, they can also have a block that then doesn't allow them to receive based on the frequency that they're tuned into. So it's like they have to, you know, change the frequency in order to be able to hear and receive what you're saying. And then sometimes there are people who hear what you're saying, but don't, because um, sometimes, because you know when you're talking, right? And then 
as people are hearing and listening, they make these different gestures, facial, you know, body language, and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, they receive me, they get it. Or if they do their face like this, like, you know, or are they confused or like you're trying to analyze what they're hearing. So you can say, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. And adjust based on their facial expression, body language. And then if they're like, you know, there's this resistance where people are responding to you as if they don't hear you or they don't understand or they're not tuned into the same frequency, then you're changing all of that and you're reading their body language or your their tone and you're like, why are they not getting what I'm saying? And then, um, so, and then it could be this thing where they don't want to get what you're saying because it doesn't align with them or it, it then causes them to have to change a certain perception of you or it has to get them to change a certain perception of the subject you're talking about. And so sometimes as well, people don't show you that they got it until like, you hear them talk about it years later, then it's like, oh, I was trying to over explain. Why didn't you tell me you got it? So sometimes people don't let you know that they got it. Some people don't want to. I don't. OK, so I try to refrain from they're wrong. I'm right. I try to refrain from that because I am well aware of the fact that I am also capable of doing wrong and harm. I'm aware of that. So I try to refrain from that. That's why I go back to how you're not on the same frequency. Because even if someone chooses to not let you know that they get what you're saying, it still places them in a different frequency. Because the higher you raise your vibration, you are more in a space of um, compassion, kindness, and receptive to others um, being who they are and you're being who you are. So it's fun and joyful to um, not to validate what someone is saying but your acknowledgement of another person's presence is also something that you um, stand comfortable in because as you see one um, across from you you see a reflection of yourself whether you like that reflection or not so it's acknowledging I see myself in the reflection of that Right. So I hear myself in that reflection of what they're saying. I it's, it's, it goes back to that. So people don't let you know that um, it's almost like you've reached, a, you know, when there's a, a, an echo is when sound touches or reaches the limits of a certain space and then it bounces and it goes back. Right. So it's like it reached some type of um wall or rock or something that bounces that information back so that bounce of information back is very important because it's receptivity right and receptivity is not just the person hearing it but also it's confirmation to you so that also goes back to when you're doing um divine work and you're guided to go forward and do such work um sometimes god just sends you out it's like i need you to go do this and then through a certain confirmation, um, you get this realization that, oh, wow, this is the purpose. God had called me on this in this space because someone has sought God and they needed me to show up and be the instrument. God used me as the instrument to answer a call for someone. And God does that for us all the time, does it for me all the time, uses other people. So when someone chooses not to... Um, respond or return the the sound is like yes i received the message and send it back and they choose to deliberately it's it's like one is if they're processing it or they needed time to process it but the moment you realize that it, it's like it's it's so beneficial to come back and let let the person know that um you got it because it does something. Not that you need it, but I'm just listing the reasons why you have to get to the place where you don't need to. Um, you don't need people to understand you. You don't need people to understand what you're saying. As long as you get it, as long as you understand it, as long as you understand the point you're trying to um, 
present as long as you understand who you are as long as you know as long as you know who you are so all these different things it could be the frequency is not on the same um, wavelength as you it could be that um they, there's a block that doesn't allow them whatever it could be and sometimes people just don't want to receive information from you and so sometimes they don't let you know that that information was useful for whatever reason so there's something that abraham higgs always say she says no matter how much um people try they can never get you and that's not just for me like no matter how much i try i can never get how, who someone truly is to truly know the depth of someone i may try for the rest of my life and i may never know because we are these evolving beings right so that's one reason to not need to to try to um if you feel like you're speaking to someone and there's this block just pause and say what am i trying to do am i trying to get my point across because then i feel like um i was right and then i got my point across or um if i'm needing to tell someone that i'm a good person and they don't see that i'm a good person so i have to show them i have to tell them i have to prove to them why am i doing it so it brings so much peace to sit back within yourself and say i'm okay with people not getting what i'm trying to say i'm okay with people not fully understanding who i am they never fully will anyways and i'm going to save so much of my energy um stopping myself from over explaining or over um over explaining is one but overemphasizing on no 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 this this is who i am or no no this is actually my character or no no this is like trying to tell people and then when you just sit back and you say okay because sometimes it's as simple as you're not on the same frequency and so there's no point trying to bust through a wall right there's no point trying to do that and so whew, before we go any forward Three conscious deep breaths. Let's do that first. I hope that you are joining me on these three deep conscious breaths and I'm grateful or I'm glad that I'm allowing myself to even um, continue to do it in the midst of my having already started speaking um, even if I didn't do it in the beginning as I am as I become conscious of the fact that I haven't done it I like to pause and do it so let's line and wake these babies up So interesting the thing that we do with our lips when we're doing um makeup it's almost like the lip has nothing to do with the eyes but we also make these weird gestures with our lips as if they are being Tend it to. So I like to do this as I told you. Keep it just very simple. Line it. makes a difference I know the the powder has a little bit of ashiness to it but as I go through the day more oil will be released from my face 
because I have combination skin. I have a bit of oil in it sometimes, so it will balance it out. So I'm going to do a bit on the corner. Just because. So how are you guys doing? One day when I watch back these videos, I will be fascinated as at, at how far my accent, apparently I have an accent, which I'm really excited about, but I need to hear it every now and then when I watch the, my videos, I hear it, but it's not like a heavy, bold accent. I want it to be like you know oh that accent is from this country that's what i want <laughs> let's do the next eye so ah, centering and um and just sitting back within yourself just sit back sit back in you sit back inside of yourself and it's not about judgment or criticism of others it's about because all that it is, is those people are giving you information. They are letting you know, hey, did you know that you're doing this? Did you know that you're going to a, an extensive effort to explain your point of view of who you are or what you think of a specific subject and you want people to get it the way you're saying it? Did you know that about yourself? And you want to know that. And that's what those other people in our life, people that we come across, show us so it's a gift they're giving us to let us know that we are stepping too much outside of ourselves in the way of explaining and overemphasizing and trying to provide these um, explanations about who we are let's line the next one i'm thinking about um doing a full weave with no leave out but i'm not an expert at it yet i have attempted a few that were nice but i was only excited about it for like two weeks maybe even a week and a half and then i wasn't excited about it anymore so I want to do it in a way that I can at least keep for a month. Because I am low maintenance, I tell you. I like it simple. I want to do it and forget about it. And more and more, I have bra I've been braiding my hair. And I have been leaving it longer and longer like sometimes a month um sometimes i think most recently i left it for two months i think and then i took it out and so and they were pretty small so they stayed much longer so, yeah so sometimes if i do this eye already and i come back and i do this one and it's not even when it's bigger or so, I come back and I adjust it. So I come back and I adjust. All right. Here goes the lips again, going up for no reason. I went to the beach recently in Florida with my sister and it was amazing it was amazing 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 and every now and then it just pops in my head it just pops in my head I'm just cleaning it up a bit made a mess and then I'm going I'm coming back I'm coming back I just keep thinking you're calling me, aren't you? I'm like a fish out of water, I tell you. Put me near water, put me in water, and for 
good about it. If I do a weave recently, you're going in the water. Even if you can't go in the water. If I just braided my hair, I would resist not going in the water. I'm already feeling the oil. Even if I um, resist going in the water for like a day, I just can't. By the next day, you're going to find me in the water. Forget it. Forget my hair. Forget whatever style, okay? Nothing on my teeth. Okay. So now, my hair is a bit more dry. The makeup is coming together. We're going to apply the flat iron and we're going to we're going to start designing. Ah, okay. Watch it. I'm just not too far. I'm just getting an extension cord. I'm like, where is this lady? She needs to edit. <laughs> And I'm like, no, I'm not going to edit. I'm right here. I hope you didn't miss me too much. I didn't think of the extension cord when I sat down. So, like I said haven't yet mastered editing maybe we'll do it for this video because you know we've stopped it once before and we're going to might stop it again so this is my beautiful metal flower thing that i use to place my flat iron on that wasn't the use of it but it's a great use it's a candle holder but if you don't have a place to put a hot flat iron, find yourself something like that, and so here we go, oh, and I'm like, I want to draw my brows, this one, I'm going to use this liner to draw, <clears throat> excuse me, to draw in my brows, world is happening <laughs> party central we're having fun listen i always say at the end of this recording if i'm not pleased with the recording we're just gonna stop it so all right let's line those brows I always say that I go under, okay, and I follow the line underneath what I want. Okay, can you see it? Do you see it coming a bit together? All right, now the next one, and of course we don't want this, the reflection on the back, even though I do enjoy the sun. I like these intimate conversations. Okay, next one. Have you ever had a taste of what your life could be like, of what your life is going to be like, and then you just felt so empowered? Hmm? Do you see it? I've only done the bottom, and now I'm going to do the top. I'm going to trace the top. Okay. When I trace the top, 
you'll be able to see some definition. Oh, I went a bit outside the line on that one. That's okay, we'll bring it back down. Because I don't want it to be too big. I like I like my lines. Now I have to go a bit up on this one. You see it's coming together. All these rules of where your brow starts and all of that. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's start to fill it in. Fill it down so you can see. So this beautiful mirror here. There's a store here in Ottawa. I think it's called Three Trees on Main Street. That's where I got it from. They bring most of their stuff from India. All right, so let's get back to bringing this brow together. So what do you think? Hmm? No brow to having a brow. Well, there was a little bit. Which we had to draw in. So what do you think? I think it's a bit back. Let's just bring it a bit more. And I don't mind that it's not perfect. Because the moment that I try to make them perfect is when I mess them up. And uh, there's certain things that I'm just not a perfection over. Some other areas maybe. like them accentuated a bit longer right here and so on a bit longer yep so ta-da here are the brows so okie dokie oh there's a lot of steps to the makeup lord have mercy I need to make sure my mascara. Yes, it's here. My favorite, favorite mascara. So that was the one topic that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Right? Don't stand so much outside of yourself. Um, when you find that you're making a point or you're trying to say something. Um, and whatever you're saying is not coming across it's a possibility that you're not on the same frequency with the person like just start with that and if it's something that they really want to know about or they find they want more clarity on they'll come back to you and say hey can you tell me a bit more about this thing that you were saying earlier and then that way they're making time and you're not going outside of yourself trying to, you know, over explain. And then you can let them know, you know, because they're listening and you can offer that. But otherwise, just let her go. Just center back in, sit back in within yourself, sit in that space of peace. And uh, just for any this and stand in the space of peace and just be okay just like okay don't feel bad don't be misunderstood so of course this also goes back to right it goes back to when you are um, when you're not healed from that wound of like first you have to say why do i want to be open the window for this why do i want to be understood why am i 
why am i looking for external am i look first you say am i looking for external validation why is this me seeking external validation and then i know you're not supposed to go over it more than once or twice at this point i think i went over it a hundred times Yeah, so why am I over explaining? Why do I need to why do I need to say over and over and over? You know, why do I need that person to get what I'm saying? Why is it important? Why is it important that that person understand my point? You know, why? Why do I need that? Cuz it could be something around that that you weren't heard before or you you feel like your voice is not heard or you finally are using your voice to express yourself and you want others to hear you and so understand what it is you know why do you need others to hear you what's driving that what's driving that i'm gonna fly that in a bit maybe halfway up and then After halfway up, I'm going to finish the makeup. So that way I'll come back at the end once my hair is done being flat iron and give you guys a, a final look. A final look. I was asking myself the other day, I said, if I lived in a hot city, a hot country, will I wear my hair out? Because I think from the time I was introduced to weaves, I've always braided my hair with my own hair when I was younger. And then I started braiding my hair with um, fake hair. And from those two times, I mean from those two um, activities, the end is not really getting flat anymore. From those two activities i've been doing it every year there isn't a year that i haven't either weaved my hair or braided my hair every now and then i leave it out i usually leave it out in moments where i feel like my natural hair being out makes me look like a boy like you know and the reason I say that is because it's short and then I resemble, especially my older brother, I, someone once said, oh, they saw him at a store and now they realize when they saw me with my short hair that that was my brother. And I was like, okay, interesting. But I come from a culture where long hair is um, part of your beauty type of thing. And so... I don't know if it was ever a big issue for me because in, in my immediate family, it wasn't ever really something that was a big deal. But maybe I somehow culturally started believing that my short hair wasn't cute on me, it made me look like a certain type of way, which I can't even explain to you right now because I feel like it's probably more subconscious than anything. It's a programming that I haven't really bought into. But anyhow, what is the reason that you're over explaining? What is the reason that you need to get your point across? What if you're just, you know, if you get what you're saying, that should be enough. That should be satisfying enough. And if it's not satisfying enough, do you see the, the ends are much thinner? Do you see it? So, I really think that it's the new hair product that I've been using for the last, I think, two years, actually. That is making my hair much more thicker. 
because I've always had thin hair. Uh, I think is what they call like cat hair. I've always had thin hair. And but now I I started this new natural hair grease because I was buying these other ones. I was reading about how certain hair products are not natural and so on and so on. But I had also attended a meetup where the lady makes natural body oil. And I think that may have inspired me to make natural hair oil for me and my girls. And some of my boys are using it too. Maybe just one. But, yeah. So as you can see, my hair was like this long, but it was thin, so I cut it. So I go, oh, my hair, my hair never grows. So I said, girl, lady, leave a bit of your hair, not for others, for toi, so you can see that it's growing and also it will allow me to see if the natural hair grease that I have made that's not only helping my hair grow but also giving it some depth so so this is what it is now <laughs> okay what are we doing next um hmm. let's do mascara let's do mascara and then I can talk to you guys more. So, um, I like to accentuate them as well. So I usually go one time lightly. I've said this before, I think. And then, going super fast, I don't know why. Maybe I'm starting to feel a bit nervous, which I don't get. Which I don't get why it would be. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. <laughs> so why? Why do you need to go outside of yourself to explain? So get clear on that first of all. So that goes back to the healing work that we do. We are constantly being brought back to doing our healing work as we grow and progress on this human experience and so it's an observation right if you're having this observation of yourself it's not a criticism of yourself it's an observation and then you okay observe it if you don't have the tools on how to address it you don't know what is the next step there's no need to beat yourself up you know you if you are someone who pray pray about it um, start googling doing some research on how you can find tools to help you with um, you know like what does it mean when a person is over explaining what what is what could be the root of that right what could be the root of me over explaining myself you know what could be the root of it and then you'll find the right tools. There are so many great people out there. Like I've mentioned before, Yana Van Zandt, not only does she have great books that help you heal and address wounds and broken pieces, you know, help you with affirmations of self, but also the Tony Robbins program. There's many videos out there. Start watching them. And I'm sure if you Google how to 
get out of over explaining or how to heal the pattern of over explaining yourself and returning back to your center then you'll find it you know there's so many even Eckhart Tolle um, just his way of speaking is this calmness right this this calmness and the non-judgment aspect of yourself and of others and how he explains that so it was just me realizing that um, I was observing how I was having less and less of frustration around needing to go burst outside of myself to explain something to to people about my point of view. So just in the in the ways that I was noticing it was less, like I was doing it less, brought me to this full awareness where it's like. Whoa, I was really doing a lot of that before. And why was I doing that? Why was I needing to chase people down like in the ways that I was over explaining? Why? That allowed me to say, okay, we're not doing that. And the when I catch myself doing it, I'm like, lady, stop doing that. So then I stop, stop myself from doing that. And then lady, stop doing that. And so on and so on. And then I was like, I wanted to come and share this with you guys maybe maybe two weeks ago or so but it wasn't timing you know God wanted me to sit on it a little bit and so today was the day I think I should have applied um to my call it I should have applied what is that thing called he protect her. Yeah, that's what I should have applied. I think I do have it. So let me do a little bit more. Then I'll get the heat protector. Then I'll flat iron my hair the rest off camera. I think I want to do the rest this way. Maybe not. Let's see. And then come back and show you guys the final, final. So today's video, it's a three in one. Isn't that a blessing? I come in, I do my makeup with you guys. Simple, simple, simple. Simple, simple, simple. I keep it very simple. Very simple. Um, and even this simple way to do my makeup sometimes takes time because I'm not really an expert in it. And I don't need to be. I don't need to take it further. I wouldn't mind if someone was great at it and wanted to, you know, give me a, do a makeup for me for the fun of it. But in terms of me being an expert, no. And I might even hire someone for an event to do my makeup if I want to go a bit extra in the doing of it. But for now, I'm satisfied. With my basic makeup ability so this is where people would say girl you lady you gotta go cut your ends and i'll probably do it myself I'll probably get someone to do it and i probably won't cut it i'll probably just braid it braid my hair or weave the whole thing so it might not be even you know, like they say, but it's the pala pen at the end of it all. So let's finish the makeup. Here comes my bold blush. I'm gonna mix it actually. I'm gonna put bold and then a subtle on top. Oh, today I'm going to do ha. Where's the other one? Today I'm also going to do the gold. <laughs> add some gold, add some gold, add some Where's my brush? This is what I was looking for, the brush. The brush, where are you? My brush, my brush. I probably took it out. Oh, here it is. Okay. So the first one I have, what's the name of this one? Hot Frenzy. And then I'm going to use Sweet Cheeks. So you see the difference? Frenzy, 
sweet cheeks this one is not scented which is okay i don't like scent on my face anyways i'm gonna use my mirror Talking to yourself while doing your makeup. This is actually, this is actually fun. Try it. Try it. <laughs> you don't feel by yourself while doing your makeup. Sometimes I feel like I'm spiritually led from doing my makeup because how did I know I should put some up here? Maybe I've seen a video, je ne sais pas, je ne sais pas. And then voila, just a little bit of sweet cheeks, just to kind of tone it down a little bit. Because maybe I'm feeling in a toned down way. Tone it down. Tone it down. Voila. One more step. And then we're done with the makeup. So, what do you think so far? What do you think so far? what do you think so far so my makeup is usually just in a makeup bag not really much and put away in a, in a jar not in a jar in my tiroir and my armoire i need a brush for my yeah so i see people use um I don't know what it is called concealers or what is it under the brow so i have this um i use the eyeshadow just to kind of give it a bit of the gold i don't think you can see it yet do you see it I don't think you can see it with the light. Yeah, there you go. See how this side has none? A little bit there. Okay, this one a bit more, put a little bit more on this side. So that's it for the brow. Oh, you see it on this side, huh? There you go. And you can see the blush too. Very subtle. I might line my lips a bit more darker. Let's see if that's what I'm going to do. Uh -huh. What do I want to use to make it a bit darker? Not too dark. Finding the perfect shade of brown is like it's, ev it's everything. It's everything. I have a whole bunch, and sometimes I think they're all the same color. And I keep buying it thinking it's a different color. But nope, same color. Mm 
Look at how you go. They're a bit more darker, so show us a bit more. One more thing. One more. One more. And then I'll finish my hair off camera. And then come back and show you guys. So I'm going to show you the blush that I'm going to use. The gold. See the gold there? Ooh. I'm going to use it on my cheeks. And then a pink up there too. Just give myself that glow right there. At this point is when I'm like, okay, I feel like I have too much makeup on. I feel like no more than what I'm doing now. Um, basic. Very basic. That's the job. I wonder if I will share this video. Hmm. <laughs> I hope I drop some gem first of all. Oop, almost dropped it. Sometimes you can do it a bit on the top of your ears. Je ne sais pas pourquoi. <laughs> Just because. I think everyone who has a fro should rock a fro a bit so that they know that they're part of the fro community. I've seen this on a video. I actually like it. I like it above the lip a little bit. See there? And then here. I didn't like it on the nose because I don't do that other definition thing and then it just makes my nose look too long and I'm like no no Pinocchio I don't know how to do it so I'm not going to do the here the because it just makes it too long makes it look long especially when I look in the mirror so that's it that's it I don't know if you can see the gold Fini. That's it. That's all. Yes, I'll do this after. So, let me go ahead and finish. Flat iron the hair. If you can see the thickness there, standing here, I could just go like this. But this is just a reminder. Your hair is growing, lady. Leave it alone. Let it grow. Your hair is growing. I do think that in the middle here it's a bit it needs to get more fuller. Let's do one more on camera. You know what guys? Unless I post um I really need to get this editing going so then I can edit the video. And usually my editors are my kids, but I probably could download a great editing app and do it. Any of you who are parents out there, if you have anything that your kids know how to do, you know that you just going to give that task to them. You know that you will. Right? You know that you will. So that's what I've been doing. It's like, hey, come do this thing for me. So we'll be right back. All right. Maybe I'll post the final picture because I think that would be much easier for moi. Mm -hmm. I could just tag it in like this and one side flat iron, one side on naturel. Take the time to sit with yourself. This is where all this awareness will come up because 
when you're sitting in a quiet space with yourself, with your own thoughts, you can hear them. You can analyze which, which thoughts are yours, be an observer, and also pay attention to how you're showing up in the world. If you are noticing that you're stepping out of sight yourself, no matter what that action is, pause, pull back in, sit back within yourself and ask yourself the question of why am I doing that action? How is it serving me and the bigger scheme of things? Does it empower me to do this? Is there an alternative? Is it hurting me? Is it hurting others? So even though the over-explaining wasn't physically hurting me, but it was emotionally, um, it was a bit irritating because, you know, you're like, why? Why doesn't, you know, why am I not understood in this way that I'm trying to um, explain myself why am I not seen really for who I am why I have to explain to people who I am and that part I've kind of like resigned from a long time ago but the part where I was like over explaining my opinion about a certain subject or how I have overcome something or needing to like say no no, no I'm not there anymore I'm here I noticed that and I said you know what I know that I'm there I know, me, I know that I'm there. I don't have to prove it to someone till they get it. If they do, they do. One day they will. And if right now they don't, that's fine. So this is just my sharing of you, my sharing with you, my tutorial of um, styling my hair. And um, maybe in a year or so when I come back, maybe before, who knows and show you the change in terms of the growth right now it's like center of my neck type of thing my shoulder begin here so we'll see you know maybe the next time around if i come back see how much longer it grew for that and the makeup is gonna be the same i haven't i was gonna use uh my purple eyeshadow i have a beautiful green one that i should use but i think it's too far from where i'm sitting so um let's see maybe i'll do eyeshadow this is a subtle mauve one and i have so i'll layer it so let's do eyeshadow as we talk so sit back in yourself and um, who knows maybe i'll do more Maybe I'll do more makeup. Maybe I'll do different type of makeup. I don't know. I don't know really. I don't really know how to do other things other than what I basically do. Um, and if I learn something new, my tips for you guys is how I'm doing the healing work for myself, what I have healed, what I have come across that I'm, I'm going... I've healed past or healing through and also home design so if you like home design you can check out faux by design on Instagram faux by design on Instagram and you'll see my page there on home decor and I offer those services too it's about transforming people's spaces and to reflect their lifestyle to reflect who they are and so on so I was looking for the cover for this I can't find it so we'll move on but now let's do the eyeshadow so where is the first one that I had took out so this one is by it's by Mac and it's what's the color sequel Twinks. There's something written. Oh, it's um. Oh, you, you. Okay, I need a flash. Can't see it. It is Velux Pearl. Velux Pearl. So it's a nice soft. Um, very nice soft color. You hardly can see it on me unless you come up close, up close and up close. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that one first. Okay. Let's 
very small. And then I have this one, which is my favorite, as you can see, it's almost done. It's like a, it's like a light purple. And I don't, I think I have to go on the back of it to see what it is. This one is, I don't even know. It's by, um, it's by Mary Kay. What's the color? Um, what is this? Brun. Brun? Is this, does it say brun? B R U. I don't know. It's a, it's a nice soft um, purple. So let's tap some off. Oh, I might need my mirror for this one. So you get the three in one. Doing my makeup, giving you some nice healing information and in my hair. Okay, let's see. Just put it right there. You can hardly see it. And I like the subtleness of it because it's it could be an everyday look, right? Hardly even show that you have makeup on. But the moment you put lipstick, it transforms it. And this is why I love lipstick. Lipstick was actually one of, one of the first. Is it lipstick or mascara? Lipstick or mascara, one of them, the first one that I started wearing. And um, so, yeah. So that's that one. And then I like to go in the center, sometimes on top of it too this color because it has that pop up it's lighter purple compared to the first one do you see any difference bit out very subtle it's like color without too much color how are you guys doing your healing work all I know is it is something so important. When I look back, first of all, it's so important and it could be one of the difficult things you can do because first starting it and then keeping it up. But then once you get into a space of doing this continuous cleanup and addressing of your inner self, it becomes much easier and it reflects on the outside of you as well. Okay, so ta da! When I first started just becoming aware of the fact that I might have inner issues that are hindering me from living the life that I want, I was like telling everybody about it everyone who would listen i think it first started for me um with the book the secret and i shared it with family members and i talked about it um it was just interesting and it was interesting because we went to cuba not too long after that and there was a lady there who worked at the hotel and she had a, the video and I was like, oh, I need to watch the video too. So it was, a, she gave me the video. She gave me the video. Ever go back, to, if I ever go back to Cuba, ever run into her, I'm giving her a gift because it's very generous of her. She didn't have the book. It was a recording that she had or someone had given it to her. She was just very generous to give it to me. And then I just started reading. Um... My brother had shared with me Tony Robbins program um, and then that was another ball rolling and I've talked about this before I'm putting a little bit more purple because I'm really feeling myself and so yeah and then that was an interesting thing for me too and Iana Van Zandt is my auntie big sister whichever title she wants because she is just amazing and i'm just so grateful first i'm so grateful when people honor themselves and so even when i talk about 
the high vibration, the, the frequency aligning and stuff like that. Whenever people honor themselves and they're like, I don't want to, I don't want information from you or I'm not receptive to what you're saying. And they kind of take that position. That is so beneficial to me because that person is honoring themselves by telling you this truth. And then once you receive that truth, you have to honor not only their truth, but you're honoring yourself by honoring their truth. Do you see what I'm saying? And the reason I'm saying that is because you're not going out of your way trying to convince someone to have a certain point of view. Honor what people honor where people are. Respect people's um, limitations and boundaries and and um, yeah. So had a realization for myself wanted to share it with you guys and thought let me sit and you know do my makeup do my hair because i'm about to do it anyways and say hey what's up guys hey what's up guys <laughs> and um i actually yesterday was working on um improving my outlook skills and um as you create appointments and um and set meetings you know i created an appointment with myself which is i'm going to record a video today i said at a specific time and it's just and you know they say when you put stuff down and you book it it it's it's really good it does show up and the thing about it is i was having this pull like hey you know you gotta go do this but i also have that reminder like yeah i set that appointment with myself so i'm going to be setting appointments with myself to do my recording um, I'm not sure if every one of them will do it will be a makeup tutorial on here like today and last time um, but um yeah rock your fro <laughs> rock your fro you can see my beautiful white hair coming in this has a lot of story to tell the stress that created this I used to pull it and it comes right back like seriously so I'm gonna accentuate it I'm gonna do something where I highlight it so then I can stand stand proudly in my role as an elder. I am an elder. I'm aware of that. I learned that from Ms. Van Zandt. When you get to the space where you receive the awareness that you are an elder, you act differently, you move differently, you operate differently. I'm an elder. Not only is that so in my kid's life, but I have nieces and nephews. I have younger siblings. I'm an elder. And I take that responsibility very seriously. I always have. Even when I was younger, I took my role as an older sister very seriously. I may have not had the tools to have done it um, better than the way I did. But my role in terms of who I am and standing in that um, position as an elder means a lot to me. And so as the future generation have set the path for me i pray that i can be guided to do the same for the future generation that follows do the healing work and i pray that all the generational wounds that i heal because i know that they are instantly healed and in all the generation before and all the generation after i pray and affirm that that is so and all that is healed through other family members that I also immediately benefit from. So doing your healing work is not just for you. It's for your whole bloodline. Honor yourself and your bloodline enough to give it a look, to look at it. To do the work, to tap in, to touch that part of you that needs attention. And when you find simplicity and in information that tells you, hey, pay attention to that, pause and pay attention to that. Do the work and take care of yourself. So I'm Fozia. I will take a picture of the final hairstyle and um, I will put it as, the, as, this, as part of the video. Okay, so if you're wondering what am I going to do with this hair when I style my hair, I've always said that I'll keep it and then I'll just pin. I'll just twist and pin. See, it doesn't interfere. You just twist and pin. And then off 
there you go and for those people who have amazing edges because they slay their edges mm, i'm gonna need a tutorial okay i am fozia you have tuned in to fo's journey across the bridge where i am doing the work from going from my mind to my heart and from operating from my heart most of the time returning back to my heart and letting my heart be my inspiration and i know that in so many of our teachings it is said that you shouldn't just be led by your heart and your heart can fool you that you should also use your mind the reason that we have both memory in the mind and in the heart and in the stomach and all different parts of our body is because we are supposed to use all of them so because i have left my heart out of having abandoned myself out of having feel like i was rejected out of feeling like i was unworthy unlovable and doing the work to return to my heart is reclaiming all that returning to loving me not just living in my mind living in my mind and my heart and fully grounded within my body that's the work that i have been doing is to reclaim all of me to reclaim all of my power and i have amazing people that have helped me along the way so far just physically present in my in my current life and i am so grateful to those people and i'm thankful to them because they honor their truth because they stand in their truth that the work that they do then benefits me so i can do the work and i hope the work that i'm doing will benefit you i didn't get here by myself and i'm not going to get to where i'm going by myself i had the whole team and support of god and all of god's angels and all of god's spirit guides all of my team my ancestors and then all of the angels that God had assigned in my life, in my physical world, who are healers, who do the healing work, who who call in the power of God to work through them, who God has chosen for them to be healers on this planet, just like me. So I heal me so I can help you heal you. So do your healing work. Follow's journey across the bridge. You tune into that. You tune into me, healing me. And I hope that I inspire you to do the same. Because you want to clean up the inside, okay? You want to clean what's inside. So that when you offer you, you offer the best version of you to everyone that comes across. It's not that you're pushing that on them. But they will naturally get that. Just by being in your presence. They will get that. They will sense that. And it will awaken the authenticness within themselves. That's the magic of doing the inner work for you. Okay, so if you like, share the video with someone. Hopefully it inspires them. And if you're ever, you know, I would say that I was somehow conscious and unconscious about my hair. If, if, if I was ever so concerned, I would not be sitting here. So for anyone who's not loving their fro or not loving the length of their hair, you know, create some magic oil and put it on your hair. Take the time to nurture your hair, to take care of your hair. Love it. Honor it. Display it. I have a beautiful poem about displaying your beauty. Natural beauty. And maybe I'll share it here. Okay? And you don't have to be an expert in something to show up and say, I have the tools. Because the... Okay. It's a real talk, right? We have... Um, education and knowledge that we receive from going to school or life experiences but we also are part of, of a bigger 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 life school of life and we have a huge team we have god's team that teaches us that makes us an expert through the teaching of god right and so that's not something that we should limit or reduce or take away its value because I know that sometimes as I speak, I am just being used as a vessel of love in certain spaces. My voice is just being used to, to, to provide information that God wants to be shared. So I'm not going to deny that and say, because I haven't received this type of experience from this type of school that I don't have the knowledge of God flowing through me. And it's through doing my healing work and having the knowledge of God flow through me that I'm sitting here sharing with you guys. 
And so if you are inspired to do the same, trust in that and let that guide you. There is no wrong way. God will use it to bring you right back on your path. Everything will realign. So if you like my video and are inspired by it and you think someone else might be inspired by it, share it with them, please. If you like, you can click the like button. You can click notification so when I come on, you'll know. Okay? And subscribe. If you like. If you want, subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye for now.